Join the Our Game Supporters Club at Patreon for €5 Euros per month to get audio podcasts of the Hurling and Football Show and much more exclusive material. Yeah, and then um, I, another thought I'd have, and this is something that is um, is something that both Cork and Mayo share, is do you play your, one of your star men in the final, like Cork of his star field forward line? Does Shane Kingston come into the team because he scored seven points? You, like I, I look at him and think he came on and played angry. So he gotten dropped. He probably felt like getting dropped was coming, even though he, you know, he got some scores in some of the games. But after the Dublin game, as I was saying on the show, I think he'll get dropped for Barrett and Julie. It happened. So do you start him now in the final, knowing that maybe he'll do this from the get go and we'll get seventy minutes of this, or do you bring him on thinking he'll make an impact again? And it's the same for Aidan O'Shea, right? People love like dancing all over Aidan O'Shea when things don't go his way. He gets absolutely slaughtered. People are lining up to 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 take a, a cut at him. And maybe sometimes he brings some of it on himself. I don't know. That's that's what some people say. I don't but know, does he, he, to be honest? But. Yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, I'm trying to play devil's advocate to some degree. And anytime I've interviewed him, he's a gent to talk to, to be fair. Um, but he had a very poor game. And, uh, like, he won some primary possession. But you can see my take on it was that psychologically he's a little bit shot against Dublin. He's had a couple of games where he's done okay. There was one game around 16 or 17 where in the last 20 minutes he was really good. But uh, generally, he's had a tough time against them. He missed that first one from the 14 when Davy Byrne slipped on his good side with the angle for you know, for a left footer to curl the ball. It was perfect. And he hit it wide. It couldn't, you know, we were all shocked. Then he missed the the mark on the 14. Uh, couldn't believe that that went wide. And then he had get, Mayo had won a turnover at the start of the second half. And he tried to hand pass to a teammate and it got turned over. And you were like, yeah, okay. Like, they have to take him off at this stage. Like, And this is a guy who's been like, First name of the team sheet for years. He's captain of the team. And you wonder now, like, the likes of Enda Hessian, he came in for Darren McHale and was brilliant. And you wonder, would a manager go and say, I'm not going to start Aidan O'Shea for a final? Now, we know that Dublin hasn't suited him, but he's played some other games and been very good against most other teams on a lot of other days. Now, people might, you know, kind of argue the toss on some performances. That's fine. But in general, there's a reason that he's been named captain and is, is a main start. So do you start him again? Look at the way the extra time went. Like maybe he'll end up suspended for coming in and getting involved in the melee. Like I was watching him at times and he was down on the sideline. It reminded me a little bit of Ronaldo in the Euro 2016 final when he went off injured. He was mm-hmm. at the sideline barking and all this kind of stuff. And again, people will probably even take a pop at him for it. But like his brother Connor came on and he was almost coaching him from the sideline. It was a break in play and he was talking to him, trying to tell him this, that and the other. Half time of extra time. He's getting on to the brilliant Tommy Conroy and having a word with him. And then he's brought on for the last two minutes again. So in, just to kind of boil it all back down again, I wonder, does Aidan O'Shea start the final with the possible mentality of knowing, geez, my position might be under threat now. You start the final and you're like, if I don't start well here, I could get taken off again. Because the manager has now made that step. That, so this is now a possibility going forward again. Or does he leave him on the bench and think he'll come on and play angry? And like, because you've probably been in that situation, I have too, where you kind of almost know, like, getting dropped is coming, and then you're angry, and then you come on and you do okay because of it. I think plenty of people out there who play will know that feeling. What do you think? Yeah, well, the fact that he took him off at the juncture that he did, he's now le- yeah, he's now left it open that he could not start him in the final. And yeah, it'd be a shock and all the papers and you will probably do a piece of Aidan O'Shea, O'Shea left out because it is a big deal. Um, but he's le- he's left that open there now. Um, I always think Aidan O'Shea is a really peculiar one and, and I don't think there's any shame in it. He's come up second best against Dublin uh, a lot of times, uh, but he's been dominant against 95% of other teams. Like there's, I think there's very little shame in that and people will have a pop at him because maybe he hasn't performed against Dublin all the times over the years, but he's generally been brilliant against all the other teams. He's just against the best of the best, the best team of all time. He's come up second best. Jeez, I don't think that's, I don't think that's anything to be ashamed about, but it would be so interesting if he was dropped for the final and he came in on the 50th minute mark like a man possessed. And just, you know what I mean? Angry, snarling, wanting to make an impact, point to prove. Uh, I think that it's going to be fascinating to see how it plays out. It could be a month before we realise or before it does play out before our eyes. But I think it's fascinating. I think Horn has left the door open for the potential for that to happen. And in fairness to Horn, he was he was very quick to realise as well 
we need to run against Dublin. We need, we're need we going to need some pace. The likes of an Aidan O'Shea is not going to turn it around against Dublin. We need all energy. And he was quick enough to take him off. Now, uh, Kerry's a different challenge, particularly. Like, you, could, you could definitely see him like out around midfield picking up Dave Moore and if they played him in an All-Ireland final. You could, and they match up quite well. And he could dominate midfield in that type of a game. But uh, I think that the op- the option off the bench is is definitely interesting. And I can just say about Conor O'Shea as well, who came on and made a couple of mistakes. He's been much maligned. There's, pe- there's people who have said the only reason he was on the Mayo panel was because of his familial connections. And like I was delighted for him to come in and prove a point as well at times, getting getting some big kind of plays in too. But it's going to be interesting. It's going to be real interesting to Kingston too. The only thing about Kingston starting is that they do have a ready-made super sub in Shane Barrett. He is... He's per- been perfectly suited for that role, so it's not as if or Alan Connolly or Alan yeah, Hardigan. yeah. So it's not as if they're they've no other option if they start them. They do have other options in reserve. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. Uh, plenty of comments coming in, lads. I'd leave Shane Kingston on the bench, give him a minute at the end, maybe. Wow, I wouldn't I certainly wouldn't be going that way. Kieran from Limerick, I'd say somehow. <laughs> yeah, you want yeah. that stuff. Uh, bring Kingston as a, as a sub as a shout, similar to Dowling in 2018-19. Substitutes uh, can be. Uh, Crucial. James Coughlin, great show, lads. Good crack. We certainly do try and do that. Aidan O'Shea, very good, but Mayo nearly better off without him. Certainly he's good, but a bit overrated the last few years. Um, the thing is, he was also played out of position at full forward. He has done well at full forward, but I don't think that's his position. Yeah, his first season in, I can remember himself and Barry Moore being played full forward. But um, O'Shea has a good record against Kerry, exact type of player to carry full back line would have trouble with, says Mossy Lines. That is a fair point, too. And hopefully Fergal Horgan lets the game flow on Sunday like the two semis. If Limerick are allowed to be physical, I think they'll win. Will win, but if then not, Hoggy will win it with the freeze. So actually, final point then before we finish up. Now that's a tough decision for both James Horn and for um, Kieran Kingston. So we'll uh, we'll be watching that one closely. Join the Our Game Supporters Club at Patreon for five euros per month to get audio podcasts of the Hurling and Football Show and much more exclusive material.